All right, we're going to get into some pretty controversial topics today, guys. We're going to be talking about pen versus Shimano spinning reels. Hey! Let me start off by saying this. I'm not saying one is better than the other. They're both good for their own reasons. I'm a Shimano guy by heart, so this might be a little bit biased, but I think it's biased for a reason. I think I've chosen Shimano for a reason. There are both pros and cons of both getting Shimano and pen. First of all, I have both, and I've been using both for a little over a year now. I, I introduced the pen slammer into my arsenal, um, I think last year. And we have some pretty interesting results to compare with now. So first off, let me say, I've got the Pen Slammer 3 6500. This is the classic one that everyone's talking about. I've heard a lot about the Pen Slammer, so I had to buy one when it was on sale on Amazon last year. I think I got this one for, I think, $200, which is a very, very good deal. Uh, usually, this one would run $290 right here. Um, versus this one right here, uh, this is the 5000 The 6000 Shimano costs around $270, so they're around the same price range here. Okay, when I think about pen, I think about a tank, workhorse, heavy duty, strong reel. When I think about Shimano, I think a smooth ride, great construction, great build, um, but not as strong as a pen. I like to think of it as this. I like to look at this as more of like a truck SUV, and I like to look at this more of a, a powerful sports car. It really is up to personal preference. When we get down to specs, you'll see which one will fit for you. Let's talk first about the pen. So here's a little story about the pen. I bought two of these, took it to Florida, was testing them out. I got one stolen from me from a place called Guana Dam. I was fishing with it, sat it down for one second, someone stole it from me, and so right off the bat, I got a bad feeling about pen. I don't know why, it's just, I, I don't, I don't like thinking about that. I don't know where I was going with this. I just wanted to let everyone know it got stolen. But this is my other one. So I had a 5500. Now this is my 6500. I didn't get to use my 5500 much. I was trying to use it at a, a place called Sebastian Inlet. Sebastian has huge fish, gigantic red drums, tarpons, snook, all sorts of huge fish coming off of the pier. So I wanted a strong workhorse to, to be able to haul that up. What I didn't realize was it would be so heavy for me to hold it there all day dropping a small shrimp over and over and over again. Guys, this thing is heavy duty. I don't like using it, casting over and over and over again with it. This is more of a reel that I will cast out for sh big sharks or for bigger fish and just leave it there. Cast it out, set it, leave it. Now, Aaron has used the same reel in Cape Cod, casting over and over again, casting lures over and over again for striped bass. And I can remember her saying, I can't cast anymore. My arm is just way too tired. This thing is too heavy. And that's really something you need to take in consideration when you're spending $300 on a reel. How much can you actually fish with it before your arm falls off? So Aaron fished with it for about a month or so, and it all of a sudden started making this really weird sound. I don't know if you can hear it. You hear that? It sounds grindy. It just doesn't sound smooth. It doesn't feel that smooth either. Aaron, Aaron's behind the camera making a really bad face right now. Okay, here's the sound I'm talking about. First of all, it feels kind of loose here. Second of all. That doesn't sound great. And I, it's not even been a year yet. I know I need to service my reels every year, but that's not even a year yet. And this is already shaky. I don't like that about my reel because I thought this was supposed to be a tank. Nothing is the same as when I use my Shimano. My Shimano is a smooth ride. It's very smooth like butter. I don't think I've ever gotten this one serviced and this has been like, this one has been like five years. So smooth like butter. It's like a whisper and it's saying, I love you. And I like that. I like that about it. It's a very lightweight reel too. And I like that too. Cause I'm casting over and over again and I'm holding my reel all day long. I don't want it to be so heavy that I can't carry it anymore. Okay, so now let's talk about Shimano now. Shimano is my smooth ride. I've got the Shimano Saragossa. I've got the Stratic. 
I've got the Stratic CI4, I've got the old Saragosas, I've got the Bait Runners, I've got the old Triga, I've got the Corrado, I've got all of the high-end Shimano's, not, not, the, not the Stella and not the, the Twin Power. Those are like the Ferraris. I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm more at a Subaru Crosstrek here. At the same price, this is much better for my needs because I cast a lot. I'm holding my rod and reel a lot. I don't want it to be that heavy. I don't need that much strength. I would be using this if I was shark fishing. I would be using this if I was throwing out uh, like a big mullet for like big red drum and just sitting it there. But that's not what I always do. I don't do it that much. I, I do this kind of fishing way more. So this is my primary because it's, it's lightweight, it's smooth, it's durable, it's versatile, and it's very powerful too. Now, just because I think these are like built for t like tanks doesn't mean that they're, you know, this won't work in terms of power. This is power as well. But maybe you sacrifice a little bit of power for the weight. This is very lightweight and I love that about my, my, my Shimano's. I feel like Shimano engineering is different than the, the pen engineering in that Shimano focuses on putting materials that lighten their reels. So spec for spec, a 6,000 Shimano will have about 22 pounds of max drag versus this 6,500 pen right here, which has about 40 pounds of drag. So that's a pretty big difference right off the bat. This is the power horse of the two. This is power. I'm saying I'm willing to sacrifice the power for the lightness of the reel. You don't necessarily need 40 pounds of drag every single time. You know, I don't think I'll be catching that many huge fish that I'll need 40, 44 pounds of drag every single time. But another thing to think about is how much line do each of these hold? The 6,000 size Shimano can hold 195 yards of 50 pound braid. The Penn Slammer 6500 can hold 440 yards of 50 pound braid. So you see what I'm saying here? This is meant this is meant to be a power horse. This is meant for big, big fish. Big fish that, you, that, can, that might potentially spool you. So that extra bit of line in there is, is perfect for it. Because if, if it takes out 200 yards, you still have 200 yards inside here. Whereas if it took out 200 yards of here, you're pretty much gone. You're spooled, you lose, game over, fish wins. I don't catch fish like that all the time. I actually don't catch fish like that as often as I catch, you know, moderately sized fish. So this reel works perfectly for me. If you're looking for a reel to catch big fish exclusively, then maybe this will work well for you. Um, I've heard a horror story. Let me, let me break and tell you a horror story about the pen slammer. One of my friends was using a pen slammer and catching sharks with it in Delaware. As he hooked onto the biggest shark of his life, the freaking handle came off which is the worst thing that can happen. One of the worst things that can happen when you're fishing and you land a, when, and you have a big fish on the line, when your handle comes off, how are you supposed to reel this in? So he had to go like this probably. I don't know how. He talked to Penn, Penn got it fixed, but that's not the point. The point here is I trusted in Penn to land this big fish, then my handle comes off. Should I still trust Penn anymore? Even though they made it right by, by fixing my handle. What do you guys think? Comment below. Would that make you like Pen more? Or would that make you say, forget Pen, I'm done. That is the worst horror story I've heard about the Pen Slammer. I want you all to comment below what, what brand you choose. What team are you? Team Shimano or Team Pen? Or maybe you're another team, maybe you're Team Dial. Let's hear what kind of reel you use and why. I want to start a discussion here. I want to start a conversation here about what our favorite reels are and why. Again, I'm not saying one is better than the other. This is my experience for it. What I am saying is that Penn is good for some people and Shimano is good for some people. Here at Hey Skipper, we want to get as many people on fish as possible. We want to inspire people to get out and explore and learn how to fish. And we do this by teaching as many people as we can. Fishing is not exactly easy to learn. We want to make it easy for you to learn how to fish. And we do this by teaching you all sorts of different tutorials on our YouTube channel and on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I've got blueprints to so many different fishing rigs, so many different fishing knots, a lot of advice on there. And if anyone needs more help, I encourage you to check out our website, hayskipperfishing.com and read through some of our articles, read through some of our tutorials on there, and then let us know how you like it. If you like our show, like and subscribe, 
push that little notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you can get alerted every time we put out a new episode. And we put out a new episode every single Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Thank you all for watching. See you next week. Click the little notification bell next to the Click the little notification bell next to the If you liked our show, click the notification bell next to the subscribe. Those words just keep getting jumbled up.